where hundreds of officers are gathered and you can tell right now they're starting to get into formation. Noel getting ready for that procession to arrive. Well, ladies, it's certainly a somber feeling right now. As you said, there's dozens of people making their way into the cathedral and in the streets. You can see police, law enforcement, bagpipe players lining up across 8th and 9th Street. As we inch closer and closer, about a half hour away from this memorial service for the fallen officer, Jamison Ritter. Well, 19 News, we spoke to one person who even traveled this far coming from Michigan. Now we know that Officer Ritter sadly lost his life on July 4th when he was shot and killed killed in the Huff neighborhood. I had a chance to speak with some people who not only called him a classmate in their academy class, but also a friend, many calling him a fun person, a goofy person, always having a smile on his face. I also spoke with Sergeant Diaz with Cleveland Police. Take a listen to what he had to say. How many people can we expect to be out here ahead of the memorial service for Ritter? Uh, the, the count is difficult. There's there's hundreds, um, possibly thousands, officers uh, here, uh, as well as the officers that are uh, going to be coming from the funeral home. And today, to see all these people here today to honor his life and legacy, what does that feel like for you as yourself, also as a police officer? Uh, it's overwhelming. Um, it's it's nice to see the support that our officers uh, bring the community. Uh, however, it doesn't make it any easier. You know, we lost someone that, that was uh, impactful to our community, to our division, uh, a brother, a son, a uh, friend. So um, uh, definitely good to see the support, but uh, definitely a difficult time for us. And when you speak to people and you see people who probably have known him or got the chance to be close with him, what do you hear? Uh, it's a common theme that of his uh, kindness, his heart, um, his desire to serve his community, his desire to serve his country. Um, everyone uh, says the same thing. He um, was, you know, someone that selflessly served and, you know, paid the ultimate sacrifice, right? He, he laid on his life uh, to protect his community. And, um, you know, for that, we're going to be forever grateful. And when you think of an officer and what an officer should represent, is he the true representation of what that should be? Absolutely. The embodiment of a police officer um, represents our division, and uh, it's a, a humongous loss for our division. It's a humongous loss for our officers. Well, here is another look outside here. You can see there's dozens and dozens of people lining up along East 9th Street. As you can see, there's police officers with Cleveland police, even some cadets and even bag players now. Now, right now, we know that along East, um, East 9th Street between Superior and St. Clair, it is closed off right now. And I want to give you guys cl a close look at something else that we've noticed throughout the morning. Take a look at those ribbons, even American flags and lined up here across East 9th Street. They're in the colors black and blue. Lou, this is all to honor his dedication as a police officer and how dedicated he was to serving his community. Now, they're making their way up to towards the cathedral. Here are the bagpipes. We're hoping to hear some bagpipes soon right now. We're going to take a listen right now. Sounds like they might be starting soon right now. But